the chairman of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, Ibrahim Lamorde, has blamed limited budgetary allocation as the major obstacle to the Commission carrying out its mandate of fighting corruption. Mr. Lamorde disclosed this when he appeared before the House of Representatives Committee on Drugs, Narcotics and Financial Crimes to defend its 2013 budget. The FCC had proposed 21 billion naira to fund its operations in 2013, but the budget office only approved 9 billion naira. Our own estimate, vis-a-vis -vis what the budget office has given to us, is that we intend to expand our operations. We don't. Uh, we we think we should reach. At the moment, we have six locations where we operate from. But because we don't have the financial resources, we are not able to reach certain places. There are complaints that we receive. Rather than do them because we know we don't have the resources to do them, we refer it them to some sister law enforcement agencies to handle those cases. So that uh, we, but you find that uh, a lot of people, Nigerians, write back to say they are not happy. They want the FCC to do these complaints for them. Not that they know that those other agencies are in existence before they came to FCC. But because of this financial constraint, we, people need to move. People must go to places. If somebody is making complaint, something that is happening in any part of this country, people must physically move. Use, if they must transport themselves there. You must give them accommodation. You must cut over the DTA. You must pay them fully before they leave. And if you look at the totality, if not because we have been scaling down some of these activities, uh, I mean, there is no way this budget can accommodate uh, what Nigerians are demanding from us. So we, we do with what resources that is available to us.